What's up? This is Box of Wave. Been doing videos all day. Earlier today, I did the Canelo Alvarez video um, against Iris Lani Lara, okay? I was just on the computer just now, and I found out that the Soto Carras, Devin Alexander fight is official. It's a go. These guys are going to fight on the undercard of Canelo and Iris Lani Lara. If you haven't checked out my prediction video, I just uploaded that today. So go check out that video. Um, as far as this fight, I think it's a pretty good fight. You know, both of these guys are coming off losses to the future stars in the, in, at the welterweight division. Soto Cross lost to Keith Thurman. Then you had Alexander. He lost his IBF championship to Sean Porter. Okay, so both of these guys, big wins. These guys both need uh, this win. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's a, a good fight. I think it's a competitive fight. Devin Alexander being the more experienced boxer. I mean, not more, I'm sorry, not more experienced. The more skillful boxer out of the two. Um, the speed, the hand speed, you know, the weight, the ring movement and the lateral movement and, you know, just overall ring generalship. I think he is the better, more uh, skillful boxer out of the two of them. I think Soto Karaj is a very experienced fighter. He's been in there with a lot of guys. He's gave a tough fight with to everyone he's been in the ring with, okay? Even Keith Thurman, even though he lost, he gave, uh, he actually hurt Keith Thurman. He's he's hurt Marcus Maidana. He's beaten Adrian, uh, I'm sorry, not Adrian Broner, Andre Berto. He's beat Andre Berto. Um, he's always gives a tough fight to anyone. Pressure fighter, you know, has some sting behind his punches and he just keeps coming forward, you know, pretty durable. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a solid all around good fighter. So uh, the way I see the fight going, Devin Alexander, if he uses his boxing ability throughout the whole fight, fights the way like he fought Marcos Maidana, he should be able to come off, you know, he should be able to take this fight. Uh, I don't see how, how he can't take the fight unless he fights a fight where, you know, Soto Karras is going to make it an ugly fight. He's going to pressure you. You try to exchange with him or fight, you might end up losing. You're going to get hurt. He might end up putting you on the floor, you know. Um... But if he fights a smart fight, use those boxing skills, you know what I'm saying? Um, use his, you know, keep his distance and, you know, even get on the inside, do what you have to do. But use that good boxing ability. You should, uh, Devin Iverson should easily win this fight, all right? But Soto Karaz, you know, he makes the fight ugly, you know, the pressure, the low blows, you know, he'll do whatever he has to win, all right? And uh, if, if Devin starts to fight Soto Karaz's fight, he could easily lose this fight as well, all right? But um, both of these guys need this, these wins. Uh, both of these guys, you know, Devin at, at once kind of was like a, a top contender. You know, he was in the talks of possibly fighting Amir, Amir Khan, Kel Brook, even Floyd Mayweather, all right? He's trying to reach that status, trying to get back on top. You know, he lost to Sean Porter, but he's trying to get back in the mix as one of the top welterweights, where Soto Karras kind of needs his win. Up to this point, he's been like a journeyman. He's been uh, like a gatekeeper for the guys that want to step to the next level. Um, you know, if he loses this fight, you know, not much, too much changes because I think he's still going to always be that guy, one of those tough guys that you got to have to beat in order to reach that next level. But um, I think his fight means more to Devin if he wants to be in the talks of being one of those top welterweights. You know what I'm saying? So. Devin, I see Devin winning this fight by decision. Um, should be a pretty competitive fight. Kevin uh, Soto Cross always brings a good fight. All right, always brings a good fight. Devin Alexander, pretty slick boxer. He needs to use his boxing ability and stop trying to exchange and rumble with guys. That's just not his style. Okay, he doesn't have the power for that. He has the speed. You know, he has the good natural boxing instincts. He needs to use that to his advantage here. All right. Uh, so that's my thoughts. Just leave comments on me. I'm not going to do another prediction video. This is my prediction here. I think Devin Alexander will win by decision. So leave the comments and everything. And thanks for supporting and watching the channel. Peace.